Greetings, folks. Today I am standing here in the uh, St. Rock Cemetery and Shrine, which is located in the St. Rock neighborhood of New Orleans, Louisiana. And I have to say, this is probably one of the most interesting cemeteries I've ever been to, mainly because of this shrine here to St. Rock, which you see a statue before you. Now, one of the most popular aspects of this particular shrine here is this very small room over here which is locked up at the time. Sometimes it's open, but today it's locked. I'll go ahead and let you have a peek inside. So the significance of St. Rock is that he is known as, among other things, the patron saint of miraculous cures. And during the yellow fever outbreaks, which occurred in the uh, late, well, mid to late 1800s, there was a particular pastor by the name of Reverend P.L. Thebus. Here's a plaque dedicated to him. Now, according to the story, he appealed to St. Rock in he made a deal that if no one in his congregation died of yellow fever, that he would actually erect this, this sanctuary, this um, chapel, as you see here. And so, as you see, the chapel exists today, so apparently nobody in his congregation died. It is a very beautiful place, very old. So here's the altar of the chapel. This is not the original altar. I mean, there's certain parts of it that is original, but I know that the statue is not original. I don't know when the statue was replaced, but I'm thinking that sometime after perhaps Hurricane Katrina, because after Katrina, this uh, cemetery was flooded up to about three feet deep of water. Again, I'll let you get another quick look at this room, just in case you missed it. It's a very fascinating place. And so the significance of this room is that people often come here, of course, not today since it's locked. But at least in the past, people have come here and left stuff like, you know, photographs, prosthetics, mementos, statues, anything that was in gratitude to St. Rock, especially when they, they have prayed and appealed to the patron saint. And they believe that their cures have been attributed to divine intervention, which every little bit helps.
cemetery, there are several statues located in these areas right here that depict Christ's crucifixion. Now, I don't exactly know the significance of each and every statue. I will have to go back and look it up. But this is another unique aspect of this cemetery and actually another very fascinating, I think. So here's the central part of the uh, cemetery. This is normally a very beautiful statue. Unfortunately, it looks like it has been vandalized. And that's actually one of the biggest problems here in New Orleans, especially in all the historical areas, is they're all highly prone to vandalism. Actually more prone than just about any other city that I've ever seen.
So now I'm standing outside the gates of this cemetery. And I must say, despite its age and despite all the vandalism, this is actually a well-kept cemetery.